Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Daily Christian Quote. I'm not going to be doing these videos every day, uh, but this one that came across today falls right in line with what we were talking about yesterday. And yesterday, we were talking about that tendency to try to ask God to turn the blind eye to whatever we're doing that we don't think would be very pleasing to his heart. And that was talking about being in direct disobedience to what God was asking us to do, and we decide to go our own way, walk out of the blessings of God, and then we get angry at God when things don't turn out according to our plan, because our plan was our plan, and it wasn't God's plan. Well, today, the quote is by Havila Cunnington, and she is a motivational speaker, a Bible scholar, somebody who writes stuff that we can relate to, but she puts her theological work into ways that you can take it and apply it to your life today. I'll put a link to her books on the description, you can go check her out yourself. Well, today, here's a quote. Many times we high five the Holy Spirit with a, I'll take it from here, or hey, I got this. This is where many of us get into trouble. The Bible says that there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. And that's Proverbs 16, 25. I believe that there are many times in our lives when things will seem right to us, but without the leading of the Holy Spirit and His perfect guidance, we will get ourselves in trouble. We need His perfect guidance, His foresight, His protection, and navigation for the journey ahead of us. This quote reminds me of something I wrote in one of my books. I talk about a time, this time of the year, where the sidewalks were finally clear and I could get out on my power chair and go a few blocks to a local convenience store just to pick something up. And it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I just wanted to get out of my house. My mind was on, gee, I'm really enjoying being outside and I was thinking about the road ahead, and I was thinking about what I might get at the store, but my mind really wasn't paying attention to my immediate surroundings. I could see far enough ahead, there was nobody else on the sidewalk. There weren't any cars coming for the road that I was about to cross, and so off the curb I went, and down you know, those little cutouts that are at a curb for wheelchairs and my power chair broke through a small ice dam. Now I did see the ice there, but I didn't think it was that deep. It hadn't been that deep before. There hadn't been any obstruction there before, but it had been a couple of months since I had been down that. What had happened in the meantime, a pothole had appeared there. So I was in, oh, maybe two inches but it was enough that it stopped my power chair. Without the help of somebody behind me, I would have been stuck. So they pushed me out and I went along my way cautiously, paying attention to my surroundings, especially when I was about to cross the street because the sidewalks were clear, but it didn't necessarily mean those little ramps were clear. You see, I was presumptuous. I thought everything was going to go clear. After all, I had been going along that way forever, and I thought I knew every bump along the way. And it's that way with the Holy Spirit. If you've got something going on with the Holy Spirit, or whether you've got something that you're doing every single day, and you're doing a really good job of it, and you're doing it for the Lord even, but it's become by rote, you're no longer asking the Lord for his input. You think you've got it all together, you don't need God's help anymore, and that 
is usually where we trip ourselves up. It's not that the Holy Spirit puts out his foot to trip us up, but it's because we have dulled our ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. He's always available. He might be a still small voice. He, you might feel in your gut that there's something that you should do, like call someone or text somebody or take a different route home. Those are quite often the promptings of the Holy Spirit. But if you intentionally put off those little nigglies, as I like to call them, they become like white noise in your ear and it's very difficult for you to hear them because you've dulled your ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. So today here's a challenge and don't procrastinate in putting off those little things that come across your way today that you think that maybe I should be doing them. It's not because the Lord is waiting to trip you up. It's because he wants to point out those areas that might trip you up or those areas in somebody's heart where they have stumbled or they're going through a really rough time and they need to hear his encouragement through you today. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.